Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we'll discuss how to best pair overcoats with gloves and scarves. Now, have you ever wondered how to wear your outerwear to make sure you look like you've just stepped off of a GQ magazine? Or have you ever been curious how to style your scarf like a stylish gentleman you just saw when you passed someone on the street? Now, there are correct and incorrect ways on how to best pair your outerwear with your gloves and scarves. And mastering these things will make it much easier for you to look stylish each day. Now, when it comes to scarves, there are so many different lengths that you might find when shopping. Having a scarf that sits around 70 inches long is usually the ideal length. Now, unless you need the excess length for your height, if you're a very tall gentleman, stay away from scarves that fall too far below your waist. Remember to consider the drape and thickness of the scarf you're considering to wear before trying to tie anything too ornate. For a more sophisticated look, opt for a more moderate length of scarf, as opposed to something that's too thick or too fuzzy. Now often, the longer and thicker a scarf is, the more casual you might tend to appear. Now at Fort Belvedere, we extensively tested various scarf sizes to find the one just right for you. Now the most common size is 150 centimeters by 30 centimeters, which is 60 inches by 12 inches. Now we found that this was simply too short for most men, which resulted in insufficient protection. Now larger versions were 180 centimeters by 35 centimeters. Now while we liked the length, we found that the width started to feel constricting. So we settled on an ideal format of 180 centimeters by 30 centimeters. We found that this offers the best protection for warmth and comfort. Now be sure to check out the unique scarf options offered at Fort Belvedere here. Now that we've discussed scarves and size of scarves, now it's time to move on down to the hands. Let's talk about gloves. Now the importance of a proper fitting glove is crucial. If a glove is too tight, it'll fit too snug and feel very uncomfortable. Also, if a glove is too large and too loose, it'll look sloppy and bring down the entire outfit. Now, how do you know if a glove fits properly? First, you'll wanna make sure that you have measured your dominant hand to make sure that you're getting the right glove size. Now, if you're opting to wear leather gloves, you may be tempted to search for a size that's a little bit bigger than what you actually need. This usually happens because things feel much more comfortable when they're a little bit loose. Now, this is important to remember that leather does stretch, and it's okay to have something that fits close to the hand, but not so tight that you couldn't even make a fist. Now, you can find our video on glove size and fitting here. Now, we've got numerous styles of gloves, both lined and unlined in various colors at the Ford Belvedere shop. You can look at those here. Now, unless you live in a very unique climate, you probably wanna add a coat to the mix here. Wearing a scarf and gloves might not always cut it in the winter season. However, it's important to know what kind of color options you should consider. If you're just starting out, it's important to make sure that you have the core foundational colors in your overcoat wardrobe. Brown, navy, and charcoal gray will offer you the most versatility for your outfits, which you can dress up or dress down throughout the season. And with all the colors that are available to us when it comes to clothing, it's tough to know where the limits can be sometimes. Now there are some people who don't really mind how they're perceived or the impression that they might give off when they get dressed and leave the house every day. These are the kind of people that could wear every color in the crayon box and think it's completely normal. Now although we like to see gentlemen have fun and experiment with multiple colors, it is important to consider the environment of where you're trying to wear your multiple colors. Now is this a more formal outing you might be going to or a more casual and colorful party? Now if it's along the lines of the latter, then it would be much more acceptable to wear these multiple colors just so you can stop traffic and have some fun. Now let's say for example you are attending a business meeting and you're wearing a navy single breasted overcoat. Infusing a few pops of color with this kind of an overcoat is always going to look great. Now wearing something like the reversible scarf and burgundy with the green and yellow silk wool from Fort Belvedere would be a fantastic option with this navy coat. Or perhaps the alpaca scarf double-sided and charcoal and gray also from Fort Belvedere. Now if you happen to go out to dinner and you choose to wear a burgundy overcoat over navy trousers, you could wear the reversible scarf in navy blue and red silk wool with polka dots and paisley from Fort Belvedere. Now in both of these examples, you can see that using these scarf options, the wearer is able to incorporate the base color of the overcoat while still allowing the scarf to stand out on its own and be a great conversation starter. At the Gentleman's Gazette, we enjoy mixing patterns, and this is true for overcoat and scarf patterns as well. Now the key to making sure that all of these different patterns you're trying to wear will work together is to make sure that the different patterns are of different size density. Now, I happen to remember a time when I was wearing a striped shirt and a striped tie, and both of the stripes happened to be of the same scale. When I completed tying my tie and I looked in the mirror, I felt like I was wearing wallpaper. 
Now there happened to be no line of demarcation, and if not for the tie being a different color, an onlooker would not even know that I was wearing a tie. Now this example also reflects what could happen if you're wearing an overcoat with a plaid pattern and a scarf with the same color and pattern size. In doing so, there will be a loss of dimension and depth to your overall outfit. Now to fix this, try wearing a scarf of a different color altogether, or if you're going to opt for a pattern, make sure that the pattern is a bigger or smaller size pattern than what is on the coat. Now gloves in particular are a fun, effortless way you can help elevate your overall look. One way to pair your gloves and scarves is to keep your colors consistent. Now if your gloves and scarves are in the same color tone, everything else will look harmonious. Now the goal is to not make your outfit feel like a uniform, but to make sure everything else looks unified. Now to keep things simple, you can try using colors like blue, black, or brown. Using neutral colors such as these will make infusing other colors or patterns much simpler. Now that you know how to ideally pair your gloves and scarves, all that's left is knowing how to put it together with your overcoat. Now depending on the color or pattern within your coat, you might want to incorporate different colors in your glove and scarves. And when wearing a charcoal overcoat, you actually have a few different options on what you can wear. One great example would be to wear the reversible scarf in navy blue and red silk wool. Then you can add the Petro Blue Lamb Napa Leather Gloves. The camel colored overcoat is quite popular and has a very rich tone. This looks great with a lot of different earth tones. Try wearing your camel overcoat with the orange bronze rust suede leather gloves and then add the reversible scarf in dark green and red silk motif. A plaid overcoat might appear tricky to try to pair scarves and glove options with. Now if you're uncomfortable with pattern mixing at this point, try picking a scarf with a nice bold color that will complement the overcoat you're trying to wear. Try wearing the alpaca double-sided scarf in light blue and gray. Then try adding the gray peccary gloves. And remember, depending on the occasion, you can have a little bit more fun with some whimsical colors and try mixing patterns. Now let's recap. Depending on the occasion, a scarf that falls no longer than your waist is ideal. A scarf that's about 70 inches and a moderate thickness is usually gonna be the best bet for you when you try to wear a scarf for various occasions. Your gloves should not feel like a boa constrictor on your hand, nor should they feel too loose. You want them snug, but not so tight that you can't make a fist. Now you can always add a lot of personality to your outfit through the colors in your scarves or your glove choices. Just be sure to have them blend appropriately with the overcoat choice that you have. Now remember, solid and neutral choices will always be safe. And mixing colors and different patterns together will work as long as you make sure that you have different size density. Today I'm wearing a bold, big checked navy sport coat. It's got functioning buttons and it has some flecks of gray and some bright blue. I'm also wearing a white cotton pocket square and some taupe socks. Now, I chose to wear the turtleneck because it incorporates nicely with the blue within the sport coat that I'm wearing. It's a neutral color and it is something nice and warm, great for the fall winter season. I chose to wear the gray trousers because they complement the gray stripe within the plaid of the jacket. And the taupe socks also help kind of ground the brown shoes and the gray pants that I'm wearing as well. The pocket square also adds a brighter element to the overall sport coat. <laughs>